Welcome to this series of First Friday Reflections of the Sacred Heart. Today's excerpt is taken from Personal Consecration to the Sacred Heart by Father Elkins. We invite you to take a moment to place yourself in the presence of the Lord. Silence your heart from the many things that occupy your thoughts. May this be a moment with the Lord to experience the immense love of His heart for you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I give you thanks for the gift of your heart to me, and I consecrate this time of reflection to you. I ask for the grace to grow in an even deeper love for you through this time of prayer in your presence. Episode 6, An Invitation to Love the Cross Do you wish to love me really and truly? Love includes two things, procuring for loved ones all the good they lack and freeing them from the evil which oppresses them. By means of the apostolate, you procure for me for the good. You give me souls. By reparation, you free me from evil. You wash my divine heart clear of the stains which have been inflicted on it by sin. Yes, indeed, an injury may be removed by giving me satisfaction. And how much could you not give me, not only for your own sins, but also for the innumerable sins committed every day? I do not wish to burden you with many practices. The same prayers, sacrifices, daily works, and enthusiastic communication, which are excellent ways of apostolate, are also very useful for reparation if done with this intention. That you may reign, forgive us our trespasses, that you may reign in reparation for the times we have offended you. These are the phrases which should always be on your lips. My life had a twofold purpose in the world, that of the apostle, to establish the kingdom of God and that of the priest and victim, to expiate the sins of all. I should like you to fulfill both too. By devotion to my sacred heart, I hope to make every one into an exact copy of myself into a small redeemer. What a sublime and wonderful thing for you. Courage then and forward march. Thousands of others of the same flesh and blood as yourself have done it. Choose a feast day, the first that comes. In the meantime, prepare yourself by quietly reading over these ideas. When the appointed day comes, go to confession receive Holy Communion devoutly, and then make consecration to me, for you could not find a better moment than when I am in your heart. It is very necessary, though, that the consecration should be complete, that it should constitute a whole program of life. You are not bound to anything under pain and sin, even venial. I want a big heart, generosity and love, I only ask you to do what you can, and who is there who cannot do this? Then do not forget to renew it daily at home or in the church, for this daily renewal is very important. If you do not renew it, it will quickly slip from your mind. If you do renew it, then you will end up by fulfilling it. Choose this holy way with decision and determination and you will soon feel a warm stream of new, life-giving blood flowing through your veins. In conclusion, two pieces of advice. Firstly, do not forget me in the tabernacle. Honor paid to my image is certainly very pleasing to me, but my own person is of far more value than the image. The Eucharist is, in a special manner, my sacrament 
for it is the sacrament of love. I should like you to receive me often, and if possible, to pay me visits during the day. You have no idea how I reward these friendly calls. Secondly, you might be able to find a little time during the course of the day to read and think over something about devotion to my sacred heart. Thus, day by day, the seeds of this divine devotion will be striking deeper root in your heart. How can I respond to the love of the heart of Jesus through my vocation and call to be both priest and victim? How can I love the way that Jesus loves me? Sacred Heart of Jesus, I give you thanks for this time of reflection in your presence. May I give you glory in all I do this day. Amen.